What is going on all you people? Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you all how to create a portable battery box. Now this isn't just like a portable battery charger. It's no small battery. You're actually only need, really going to need three different things to make this happen. You're going to need this. It is a cheap ammo box. You can get these at one for five dollars. This is the small one. You're going to need a 12 volt battery. You can get this in the marine section, outdoor section. They use it for boats and uh, like a wild game feeders and stuff like that so you can find that area and you're gonna have to buy this off Amazon it is a four-in-one charging port you have your USB port right there this is your 12 volt cigarette lighter you have your master on and off switch right here and you have your uh, voltage DC uh, reader right there as well and luckily this all comes with the wires and the screws and the extra caps that you need so you can get all this uh, relatively cheap. Uh, the battery is the most expensive thing. This is $25. Uh, all these, the 4-in-1 uh, charging uh, things, this right here, was only $15, and you can get this at your local Walmart for like $5. So, you're spending under, what is that, 50 bucks? Yeah, so... It's really not a bad build. This is my first time building it with y'all, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I've only seen this done a few times. So we're gonna be building it together. Uh, first off is I'm cutting holes in this really, really janky. I do not have a drill or anything like that to cut, so I am doing the very cringy thing and cutting it out with a knife. And now I know y'all do not wanna watch that because y'all do not wanna cringe. So I'm gonna finish cutting out these holes right here and I'll be right back. All right, so we have the holes cut out now. So now we're going to start putting in our switches in the order that we want. So the power button is going to be far over here. It's going to be one of the first things. So I'm going to put it right in. Hopefully it fits. Like I said, these holes I cut were super janky. There we go. And the next one that I want is going to be the USB. So let's put it facing up. So I'm going to put it right in there. Voltage meter, voltage reader, whatever you call it. Right. Oh, I'm trim some more off of here. Like a glove. So now we got them all installed. Now we open it up. Now we're gonna start putting the threads back on these guys. Cutting it close right there, that thread right against the base of it. All right, so now that we have the plugs installed and they're screwed in the back, now we're gonna start on the wiring. Now, I accidentally started putting the red ones on before I pressed the record button, so I apologize for that. But all we have right here is the red starting at the main power switch right here, going to the positive, the positive, and then on this one, it's gonna go right here to the positive as well. So you're just gonna slide that in, and it clicks right in. Now we're gonna do the black wire. It's gonna go black to black to black. Finally, we're going to connect our positive. Put it right here. All right. 
found out what the problem was. This uh, wire is still really loose and it's not really cramping on there since I don't have a cramper. So I went and got these pliers right here. Try to be the best cramping tool I'll probably be able to get right now, but I'm gonna make it work. Got that in there. So we're gonna flatten this bad boy out. Good. All right. There. just to make sure it doesn't come out again, I'm gonna keep cramping it over and over and over. Make sure that metal really has that wire down. Here on the sides. There we go. Another thing I found out right here, I'll show you all real quick, is uh, on these plugs, but anyway, on these plugs right here for the power, the uh, for the positive, for the red, it has it marked in silver. And then for the neutral, I mean, not the neutral, the negative, it has it marked in gold. So that's another thing that I messed up on that I just figured out. So I went ahead and fixed that, switched them out. And now that I got these two cramped pretty well, I think it's time now to actually see if this is gonna work. So we put the lid back on. take my positive and plug it right here in the positive side of the sorry I'll move the camera a little bit there you go so I'm gonna put the positive right here in the positive make sure that's off and then I'm gonna put the negative right here into the negative make it look as good as I possibly can lock it Fingers crossed that it works. And we got power. <laughs> it is working. Hold on, let me uh, get a charger or something so I can check it out real quick. Here's my uh, camera battery pack. So let's open up the USB and plug it in. Look, charging. It is charging. We are good to go. Yes. Let's try the phone. USB to USB. And I'm gonna plug it right here into my phone. It's charging. <laughs> it works, we are at 12.1 volts. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And it is charging, so we are good to go. Heck yeah. <laughs> be a more like in-depth look at everything and how it is connected so right here is the main power switch right here so if you come over here and look you'll see that the main power switch has these three plug-ins right you got your hot that goes to this one to this one to this one and it stops right there so that is your hot that is your positive and then you get this one which is your also your positive and this one goes directly to there all the way to right here and that is your positive spot on your battery and if your negative is all the way at the bottom now the way th these people had uh, this uh, labeled was the positive were silver silver and then the negative was gold so you connect the two red wires right here to the silver and then finally for the gold is the negative let's go go from this one to this one to this one to this one and then it also has the split off right here where it goes directly to the battery. And that is exactly how it's set up. And you got it plugged in right there. Now, if you're not using your battery, go ahead and plug your uh, hot wire so it's not using any power. But if you are using it, just open the box, plug it right back in, shut the box, turn on your power, and you're good to go. So that is a more depth in look of how exactly it is wired. Pretty simple, nothing too hard just like that right to your battery and that is how you wire the battery box
All right guys, well that's it for this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. It's just so cool what you can make out of a battery, a few wires, and an ammo box from Walmart. So under $50, you have this amazing charging battery pack that'll last upwards of 20 hours, which totally knocks any bat uh, power pack you can buy at Walmart out of the water because there's no way it's going to last as long as this. And with all the crazy weather and stuff that we've had lately here in Texas, especially during the cold, I will not be caught dead without having this ready to go just in case of emergencies. Now you can also use this, like I said earlier in the video, for kayaking, camping, anything that you're outdoors and you don't have a direct source of electricity, you can make this and it'll be work really, really well. Now a lot of y'all might say that, you know, putting in the water is probably not a good idea, but the cool thing about this ammo box, it has a leak and oil resistant rubber band around there, so it'll keep it a little waterproof, and if you wanted to, just add a little extra precaution, probably silicone these bases right here so no water gets in here, just for that little added extra protection. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you go out and make one of these, and if you do, make sure to leave me a comment and tell me how you're enjoying yours. If you haven't already, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers, guys, and it is taking forever, but we are so close. I believe I'm like five subscribers away. So if you haven't subscribed already, please, 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 Go and subscribe to my channel. Help me hit a thousand uh, subscribers, guys. It'll be a huge milestone. It'll mean a lot to me. And I'll probably do a thousand subscriber giveaway. But that's for another video. But I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I will catch y'all on the next one. And guys, as always, peace.